turn, honey? Is it my turn now? Is yeah. it my turn now? Mm -hmm. Is it my turn? Oh, okay, okay, okay. So it's my turn now. Oh, okay. Go, Maya. My baby. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Let me see. I think it's better from this way. Let me see. Oh. Oh. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. oh. That's my. That's my wife. That's my wife, y'all. So don't try it. That's my baby. Mm hmm. That's my wife. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. That's my wife. Y'all. Gonna have to. Oh, I'm so lonely. I'm so lonely over here in Georgia. I'm right next to you, babe. Stop playing. Stop playing. I know. I I'm so lonely. I wish two people were here for me. You know. I drive three hours. But I'm in, I'm in this bed by myself. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, crazy. And you can get some, you know, get some good sloppy toppy and I can do that too. You know? Mm. Ain't that funny? Like, you know, what sandwich, girl to do? reverse Oreo. You know, it's not, it's not funny. Hey, wait, if somebody would just make a flight. What's going on? What's happening right now? I'm just saying if you do reverse Oreo, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, doing Oreo. So if you just make a flight to us, because I'm Maybe only I'm like not exposing anything. I'm not exposing anything. I didn't confirm anything. You didn't confirm. We we're just asking, you know, Raphael, Zeddy, if he's gonna come on. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you with Stacy. I'm gonna let you. I'm gonna let both y'all just think about this. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna leave you with Stacy. So I'm gonna let you know. Down. Down. You already know I'm down, baby. You already know I'm down, wifey. Mm -hmm. Me and you. Are you? Are you? Are you okay? I don't think he's okay. I'm uh. You sure? I'm doing, I'm doing good. Yeah. Sure. Mm-hmm. I'm doing good. Sixty or like what? What's what's up? I'm just trying to see about that remote real fast. Is if you still have my remote? Let me do a 360 just for my wifey. Let me do a 360 just for you, Bayan. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. This is what middle school feels. Hey, chat. Mm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Blue red riding hood. That's yeah. what it's giving. Hey, don't ask me to stand up, chat. <laughs> just don't do it, okay? Let's just let's just see who else we can get up in here. Maybe let's see. Uh, let's let's see. This is a two. This is a two person offer. This is a two person oh, offer. Wow, we can take care of you real well. Oh. Now you gonna do it? All right. Damn. I really, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. It's not like, uh, you don't I, have to be a loss for words. You just have to take that flight and then we got you. I can pick you up a Zaddy. I can pick you up Zaddy and then we just go over and do our job. Hey, you know what? I'm down with it. I don't even care if they know anymore. You know, <laughs> I'm not answering that question. That's a crazy comment. I am not standing up. Do not tell me to say a damn thing. Don't tell me ask. Don't ask me. No, I'm, I'm, I'm stuttering now. <laughs> Let's let's just um. <laughs> yep. I'm three hours from her, yeah. and then you know, I'm three hours from other stuff. You know. That I do not have an actual girl. Let's calm down now, okay? It's y'all. Just don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Damn. Yeah. Damn it's, what? Look, it's like them TikTok cringe things. Okay. Hey, yo, tap that screen, chat. Tap that screen. Nah, but for real, we should get some more people in here. Okay, I yeah. guess so. We got this all situated. We can we can settle this in a little little private group chat. You, know, you gotta you know. make the grab. You gotta make the chat though. You got to. Okay, okay. Give me that. It's my Taco Bay. Let's get some more people in here. Raph don't like me anymore, you guys. Huh? What? what happened? We're not we're not friends no more. What? What happened? Oh. Man's kicked me. Oh. Girl, it's okay. 
I was trying to play a game I had with my with my wifey over here. So it's not you. It's not you. Not you. It's okay, y'all got the love going on. It's okay. You wanna join? For the three sixty? Oh no 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 no, not oh. for three sixty. We're doing like a little like a little what's it called? Oh fuck. Little layers going on. I guess like an onion, you peel the layers off and you see what's really about, you know? But... <laughs> How can you uh, release this type of commitment, babe? Oh my goodness, this is great. Hey, chat, let's change this direction though. Let's change this direction, right? Yeah, this this is getting wild. All right, chat. So hear me out, right? Let's get into it, okay? And we will ask the ladies, because the ladies will probably know, because they've been out in different states, different cities. All right? Do you think there's more sassy men now than there were before? Yes, and why? And this is the bait, so anybody can chime in. Do you think there's a sassy man apocalypse going on in our generation? Starting with you. And anybody can chime in. It's a debate. For names, you know, we have names, but okay. I would say, um, okay, so it's like 50 50 for me. So I would say, um, there is sassy men era, but they can also be an era of where, um, men are just taking more accountability for themselves. So they're not like trying to um, uh, hold accountability for girls not giving them that type of attention. Now, would I say there's more sassy men? I would say yes. I would lean more towards yes because. There's more men who are more into finding somebody else who kind of fits their agenda. And they're more like, you gotta text me, you gotta drive me, let me be your princess prince, you know what I mean? But it kind of comes off really weird, but I'm 50-50 on that, to be honest. I can see both sides. Okay, okay, now next question. I'm gonna... Mommy, don't be like that in the comments, baby girl. I swear to God, this is just, you know, I know, that's what I'm saying. Wait, Sir Ralph? Have you ever dated a sassy man? And if so, how'd it go? Um, I only have one relationship, so I wouldn't say, no, I'm actually gonna say he's sassy. He was sassy, he was sassy, but in a standard of, um, in the generation we're at now, because I was like three years ago, I would, I would not care, I would categorize him as sassy, but not in the way you guys would think. You know, I was like more, how do you call it, de detachment style? Like I was more avoidant. So he was, he felt like he had to step up to, to that flight, like plate or whatever. But I don't know. That's just me though. I would, I don't know. That's my opinion. Okay, Sunny. Hey, what's up? What's up, hey. y'all? Go ahead, say your name, say where you're from, how old you are, and then three red flags on the guy. Dang, why did I get big? Wait, hold on. Can you repeat that? <laughs> so, how old are you? Where are you from? And then three red flags about a guy. Okay, I'm 21. I'm from Las Vegas. And three red flags, I would say, if he likes to argue, if he's too friendly, and if he's like, too active on social media, I would say. <laughs> Thank you, y'all. Hey, when did you move to Vegas? Have you always been in Vegas? I've been in Vegas for a minute. Okay, okay. Yeah, where are you at? Vegas. You're in Vegas too? Yeah, I stay. Next door neighbor. Somebody said next door neighbors? No. Imagine. That's crazy. That'd be crazy. Not, you, you, don't gotta say, you don't gotta say what part of Vegas. I'm like, I can see the strip from here. I'm really close to the strip. You got me too. Oh, without saying too much yet. Y'all really might be next door neighbors. Hey, all right, all right, wait, 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 wait. wait. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Do you live in an apartment or a house? Apartment. I live in an apartment too. That's crazy, y'all. Rob about to end the live and go look. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. nah. I forgot about us. I'm about family. to drop my location, regardless. A family oh, emergency. No. Um. Okay. Wait. 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 Live. Does your apartment start with the letter L? 
I mean, not L, R. No, but it's S. S. Mine starts with R. Yeah. Yeah. No, nah, we're not neighbors for real, but. Okay, okay. Yeah, moving on, moving on. All right, all right, all right. And then three. Oh, Let no, me you find out. Your legs. Okay, so you, Maya, mm -hmm. now we're going to go with, do you think it's a sassy men apocalypse? Like, are more men becoming more sassy? And yes or no? And why? Uh, yes. Okay, why? You want another reason why? Yeah, get into it. Um, I think yes, just due to the fact that, I mean, I don't know, when you say sest, when you say like sassy, I think like zesty, cause that is just like, that's kind of like the feeling that it gives. Um, cause I'm like, I've never had a guy be like, I've, I've never been like, oh, I really want some flowers. You know, guys typically get the girl flowers and then he's just like, oh, but you don't ever get me flowers. What do you, oh my God, where's my dick at? Like, I didn't know I had to do that. Um. That's crazy. Uh, didn't realize that that was something that we did now. So it's just like, you know, when that kind of energy comes back, it's just like the stuff that typically guys would do for girls kind of naturally. Now guys are like, you don't, you don't get me this. You don't get me flowers. You don't ever take me out. I'm like, that's crazy. I didn't know I was, you know, dating someone so sassy, like to the point where now I have to, you know, do all that kind of stuff. Nothing wrong with that. I'll get my man flowers, but I mean, you don't got to be all sassy with it. Talking about some, oh, you don't get me this. Oh, we're, I didn't know this was a, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. But yeah. So I think, yeah, I think men are getting a little bit sassy. I think the apocalypse is taking over. But I don't want my man to be sassy because if my man's sassy, we can't have two sassy bitches in the house. That's not how that's going to work. <laughs> okay. And who's the sassiest person you've dated? Mm, I don't really date many people, so uh, that's crazy. Okay. I can tell you the sassiest person I've talked to, yeah, if that, that makes sense. That works, too. The sassiest man you've talked to. It was, like, probably, I want to say a couple of months ago, he had said, oh, my God, he had said the most out-of-pocket thing. I don't quite remember what it was, but it caught me off guard to the point where I stopped talking to him because he was just, like, Oh my God, I gotta go look for it. But yeah, it was a couple of months ago and he had said something about me. Oh my God, he had said, some, he had said something y'all. I don't fully remember, but I just know that I stopped talking to this man because I'm like, I'm not finna be the man in this relationship. <laughs> I'm like, we're not finna do that. So yeah. Okay. Taco, do you think, it's the same same question. Do you think that there's more sassy men now because of, you know, Rappers having an influence. Do you think that a sassy man apocalypse is like its beginning for this generation? It's already happened. There's so many sassy and needy men out there. I fucking I like I text a guy and he's literally like, well, I don't understand. Like, why can't you pay for dinner? I'm like, bitch, you asked me out. What do you want me to do? <laughs> like, I'm not going to get asked out and then pay for dinner. That's not how this works. Okay, so that was an example of a sassy man that you were talking to? Yeah, literally all they want is like, like, well, why don't you treat me the way that like men have treated women all these years? But it's like, dude, women don't even get treated with like the basic standards of respect nowadays. So like if a guy does one of the basic standards of respect, like you're like ranting to your friend, he's like, you're like, oh my God, like he doesn't interrupt me or anything. They're like, dude, that's the basic fucking, that is the minimum a man can do. They don't even do that anymore. Okay. So in your experience, how old are you? I'm 20. <laughs> oh, wow. You're young still. Okay. So you're 20 and you've been dealing with how many, like on average, how many dudes out of out of all the dudes you've been talking to, how many of them are sassy? Like almost all of them. What really? Yeah, that's why I'm not in a relationship because literally they all get like that, and I'm like, nah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave. Like it's not worth that effort. This is gonna be my next question after this one, Chad. So we're gonna go over to Sunny now. Sunny, do you think? And we live in Vegas. I, I'm really curious about Sunny's answer. Do you think the <laughs> man apocalypse is beginning? Yes or no, and why? 
Yeah, no, the, the sassy men, like they're here right now. Like they're in front of us, they're outside, they're at your local store. Like you can find one anywhere, like all around us. Yep. For real, especially in Vegas. I don't know. I don't know if it's a Vegas thing, but they're, they're out here. So like this is where they stem from Vegas. But I don't know. I kind of like sassy men, like a little mm-hmm. bit, like a little bit sassy, like not too sassy, but like a little sassy. I like. Hey y'all. By the way. So you see, Sonny, you need to What's come that? to the UK. Come to the UK. Hey, can you turn on your camera for me? Why? There's no sassy men out here, all real niggas. <laughs> no sassy men. Y'all sound sassy. I know you sound sassy. I don't mean to. I don't mean to ruin. I don't mean to ruin your conversation. Can you turn on your camera, TKO and Lexley? That's yeah, all. Yeah, hold up, hold up. I'm quick. You do your side. That's why. Yeah, but it's gonna be dark. Hmm. She said she would turn it on, but it'll be dark. Oh. Oh. She got care. Hold up. I'll be back. Ah, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Now, who is the sassiest person that you have talked to? Me? Yeah. Um... I would say my ex is definitely the sassiest. Okay, give us an example. Like, I don't know, it's just a vibe. It's just an energy. Like, you can't really put your hand on it, like your finger on it, but he just like gave sassy energy. Was there something Makes that- you do a double take when he say something. He say something yeah, sassy. Yeah, just like the way they like walk sometimes or like, you know, it's like, okay, like, like who, like who's the girl in the relationship at this point? Cause I'm confused. I thought I was the sassy one. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, okay, I'm on my period. Are you like, are we both like, are we on our cycle up? right now? Like. That's what I'm saying. We, we, we sink in. Like, what's going on? I just, I can't do it. Okay, I just remembered the question. All right, so this is going to be the next topic. Okay, this is going to come, this is going to tie back to this. So you can bring up the sassy guy thing. Is the white guy biracial? Yes. Anyways, so here's what's going to happen. Do you guys think, and this is a debate, so we don't have to go in order. If someone just wants to jump on it, jump on it. Do you guys think that dating nowadays is just like a lost cause? Do you think that more and more people are just not thinking it's not worth it to just get in a relationship anymore? You think relationships in the U.S. are just over with? Um, I think I think that they uh, I say yes and no, just only due to the fact that I mean, I still have hope. I mean, this shit is almost in hell, but I still have hope. Um. <laughs> Um, Cause it's just like I mean I really want to meet the correct guy, but you never know where he's like the energy that he's coming from. Cause it's just like you'd be like, oh he's cute, oh he does this, oh he does that, but then he also do something else, and you're just like, damn, maybe he's not interested. Like mixed signals are very much a heavy thing within the dating community. I feel like right now, and so it's just like unless you are very direct with how you feel about a person, you'll never truly know. And I feel like that's the main issue. Because I'm like, I could be like, damn, you know what? I really want to lock you down. And but you'd be like, oh, you know, um, I'm really feeling you. But then you're over here texting other bitches. And I'm just like, but I really just said I wanted to lock you down. Oh, you know, but I didn't I didn't say that we were official. I'm like, you just said that she was really feeling and like it's just it's just mixed signals. So I feel like, no, they tell you that they don't want to put a label on it and shit. And you're like, what? Yeah. And I'm just like, no, no label. I'm like, that makes no sense to me. So it's just like. I'm losing hope, but there's still hope at the moment because I'm like 24. So, I mean, I'm going to push it till I'm like 26. And if I'm not like at least in a strong one year, we're going on relationship by 26. Then I think I think it's time for me to just step out and be like, you know what? That's crazy. Mm, I think I'm just going to have hoes in different area codes at this point. So. Okay. What about you? 
Um, I would say the hookup culture is really strong here nowadays. So I wouldn't say I would say the same as my yes or no. You can find somebody who's really about you, but it's about what they want. So like I can talk to somebody like and be like oh yeah i really like you and they'd be like oh yeah i just want to hook up but they won't tell you that, that i think that's what's wrong with the society nowadays so they're more scared to say their feelings so it turns into a whole culture of everybody feels like okay you just want to hook up or you just want to not have a relationship but have the privileges of having that girlfriend without labeling it like sunny was saying or taco so I feel like it's a yes and no because it's not only America. I feel like it's just our generation. Like we've seen uh, the other generation get cheated on and do whatever. So like we're low key traumatized. Like I'm low key traumatized. I'm like if I see somebody and I'm just like, oh yeah, he's kind of cute. I kind of be wary of it because it's like if you go and tell somebody that you want them, it's either they're not gonna tell you that they want you or that they only want you for sex and then they go and play you but i also feel like it's this whole generation of you're hurt you're feeling like you don't want to say what is true to your mind and it ends up hurting your feelings because i feel like if i like a guy and i'm like oh yeah i want Aaliyah. hi baby um i feel like i just want sex i want you to say that i feel like it's just that but also there is a stigma of, um, like you said, the sassy man era. I feel like men don't want to say that because they feel like it'll come off wrong. But I'd rather somebody be upfront with me and be like, I don't want nothing with you. You know, <laughs> not like that. Like, put a little nicely. But I want, I just want, you know, that connection without being attached. And I don't know. That's just me, though. That's me. Girl, girls are into that now. Girls are into that now. I don't know why people be talking about girls don't do that kind of stuff. I'm like, if you are sitting up here and upfront with me like, hey, I know for a fact that you cool as fuck and I would want to be with you with you, but I don't think I want a relationship. A lot of girls would be like, okay, as long as you was like, you was, you was straight with me. So it's just like, whatever. But most guys, Maya, would like, it's not like we're not upfront with it and we know what we want. If I don't want a relationship at this point and I just want to go have as much bodies as I want, that's, that's my business. But what I'm not going to do is, is tell you I love you. I love you. I want, you know what I mean? I'm like, oh yeah, that's so good or whatever. You know what I mean? And I feel like most men, they think that that's what's going to keep that person in there. And I'm like, no, because I'd rather you have that faith and be done with it. And that's why like, I talked to somebody recently. They were like, yeah, most men your age, like they want this. And I was like, oh, I don't, mm -mm. I was like, I don't want no youngin, you know, <laughs> but it just comes down to like, just being honest. I feel like most of us who really care and want that connection, want you to be honest with us. That's me. I'm going to move on though. Rafi, get you somebody else. Okay. Wait, Taco gave it. Okay. What about you, Sonny? What's the question? I'm sorry. <laughs> you think that relationships in America are just like dead? Like it's just impossible to find? I mean, they're not dead, but I think it's definitely like way more difficult than it used to be just because like social media, you can basically you feel like you have a lot of options. You know what I'm saying? Like you feel like you have a lot of options. But in reality, you don't have that many options. Like all those people liking your story, all those people in your DMs, like those aren't your real life options. Like, but it makes you kind of feel like you have options. So you feel like you're big shit. Like, okay, I could break up with this person and get with someone the next day. And honestly, you kind of can, depending on like how you look and like you could download an app too. So it's just like, it's just harder these days. Like. It's too much accessibility. 100%. Yeah. Too many options. Aaliyah. You look so pretty, Aaliyah. Oh, my goodness. Thank you. I'm about to go outside. As you should. I was going to say about what you just said. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Before you two ladies go out, let's get your opinions before you leave. Do you about guys, what? Do you guys think that relationships and dating is just dying, and you guys think that hookup culture is going to be the new trend for this generation? 
Hookup culture is insane. Hookup culture has been the trend. That's why relationships and all that shit is dying. Because people said, out with the old, in with the new. Let's hook up and let's do shit differently. Like how our grandparents didn't do it. And it's like, now we're fucking stuck. Like people have to break the cycle now. Like this is a damn chain. People are hooked on each other and shit. They got to break that stuff for real. So that's how I feel about it. I don't fuck with that shit, like, for real. Sorry, Aaliyah, take your shit, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't really care. I'm sorry, I don't even mean to curse like that, but like, honestly, had to talk my shit, for real. I just wanted to hop on for a second. Um, I don't really have an opinion, cause I don't know. I might start shit. joining your guys' TikToks, so this is my second time on the shit, so might as well. Yeah. We're going outside. I love y'all's topic. Have fun. Everyone looks amazing. Wait, where are they all from? Everywhere. I'm from Georgia. Georgia, okay. And then where are you guys from? Colorado. I'm in freaking Honolulu. Girl, oh, y'all in Hawaii? Yeah. yeah, we're in Hawaii. We're out in Hawaii. <laughs> uh, on vacation or? We live clubs? here. No, we live here. Okay, period. What are the clubs like in Hawaii? Yeah, I'm trying to get like y'all. We they they're like they're pretty innocent, honestly. They're really good. Free How do men live there? How do men live there? Yeah, right. No guys will buy you a drink out here. I need to go to Hawaii. Not Southern but California. They buy me drinks. How do the men look there? Are the men do the men look nice there? I the mean, men like, look like okay, like they're somebody else's because like they are because they're all they're so short. Every, every branch of the military is on this small island so hookup culture is insane out here i don't do military <laughs> men i don't do military men absolutely not okay red flag <laughs> don't do it don't do it nope. my dad's don't don't do it. i don't do that <laughs> Don't okay, ever. No? I have my bottle, okay. but I'm about to be outside. Don't know have where I'm gonna end up, but y'all have fun. Bye. Bye. Okay. All right. <clears throat> now, Hi, Jamie. This is my next question. Do you guys think? Because I know it's I know it's becoming a trend. It's called like. Do you guys know about passport bros? Yeah. Yeah, yes. you guys know like so men in men in the US basically what passport bros is is they gave up on women in the United States. They said, screw the US, they're done with this place. They're gonna go find women in other countries. Do you guys think that there's passport sisters or that they're going to become passport sisters? Yes. Uh uh. Um, only, only because I think if I'm understanding what you're saying, only because I have heard that men in Mykonos treat women of color very well. And so I'm just like, I'm, I'm just thinking about that in that aspect. Um, so yes and no, only because I don't know much about that and what truly entails with being a passport bro or a passport, so, pa passport so sister. I'm going to get into it. I'm just going to tell you what they do. I'm not saying I am one. I'm just going to tell you what they do so basically they've given up on women in the u.s like as a whole so this all started as a trend back in like probably like 20 like the early 20 like late 2015 early uh, could be even earlier than that but basically they would you know move to a different country like eastern europe brazil you know oh, any, cool. somewhere somewhere else where traditions are different for relationships and couples because they think that um they think that the women there are going to be different from the woman here so that's their ideology right that's why they're doing it so my question for you ladies are do you think there's going to be passport sisters or that passport sisters are becoming a thing because it's a possibility that men are probably raised around the world differently than they are in the united states I mean, me personally, like, I feel like I don't have to leave the U.S. to find a man. Like, it's not that serious. I could find a man, like, anywhere, honestly. It's... Okay, but not, like, we're not talking about hooking up. We're talking, like, relationship. 
I yeah. feel like there's really the culture of like being a sugar daddy, and it's not like I'm not sure think some women who get into that are already given up on men. But it's kind of like if you go and you go on a trip with a sugar daddy, right? And you find love in Mykonos, like what Maya was saying. That's a different type of energy. I feel like passport bros, they go and they're like, oh, I give up on women. Like, I've heard a guy recent to me that's like, Shit, how old is Chris? I think he's like 43, 45. And he's like, oh, I can't date no woman in the U.S. Like, they don't want me. I was like, there's women who want you. You just don't know how to approach them. You know what I mean? So I was like, if he was going to go and date women in the Philippines or in the like Vietnam, right? I wouldn't characterize him as a Viet- like a passport bro. I feel like passport bros goes things that like different cultures just because I'm African, right? I was like, there is that stigma of this person is richer. So when you when you go and get married, it's like, oh yeah, this person is very rich. They're gonna like, they're gonna get you right there, right? But I feel like it's not gonna be like the sis- passport sisters because I feel like there's already that stigma about um, sugar daddies. You know what I mean? And I was like, I think that's the character, like, if you want to use that term, I would say sugar daddies would be that term for passport sisters, because, like, you're using rich man to get what you want. But I think that's my thing. I was like, I think that's how I categorize it, because I'm like, if I gave up on love, what was the first thing I would look for? Somebody who has, who have men, or, like, you know, money. So it, 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 it could be their sugar daddy, or it could be somebody with money, you know, a millionaire or somebody like that. But when you marry for love... It's a different categorization, if that makes sense. I don't know. I don't know. Don't ask me. I, I don't think it's going to become a thing, only because I feel like when men do do passport bros, they give up on the women in the U.S. because I feel like most of the women in the U.S. know what they're trying to run and what they're trying to do, and we don't typically put up with it. And I feel like when they go to other countries, um, not saying that other countries don't have like really independent, strong women, but I'm just like most of those women that they go after, like in those Asian countries, they're very like low key kind of submissive when they're with the man. So I feel like when men give up on women in the U.S., it's because women in the U.S., we're like we're kind of built different. We're very I feel like we're very much independent. We're very much strong, like we're stronger when it comes to dealing with issues that American men produce or give us. And when they go to these other countries, these women are like people that they, they want relationships, they want families. And I'm not saying women in America don't, but it's just like they, they're a little bit more. I don't think some is the correct word, but they're a little bit more not even naive, but just not as knowledgeable about what they do in the U.S. So I feel like the women in the U.S. just know the kind of shit that they're on. And so when they go to these other countries, these women, they, like they put up with what the man does a lot more than what they would in the U.S. Because I feel like, oh, me, me. But yeah, that kind of thing. So I feel like passport roles are men that basically give up in the U.S. because women in the U.S. don't put up with their BS. And then they go to these other countries and those women can put up with their BS because they don't know any better like we kind of do in the U.S. at this point. Because we'll up and leave somebody. Well, kind I, of thing. I'm going inter- to interject there. Being as a foreign woman myself and getting citizenship, I would say probably six years ago. I wouldn't say that it's the term of they don't know any better. Is some of them don't have any options. Yeah, that's so yes, no options. That's what I'm looking for. To have that, like African women, like Kenyan women, would literally go and date a white guy and think they're gonna get married. They're gonna get this money. They're gonna get this, and it it could be just an average dude from America. Like the dowry in Kenya is different. Bro, like you gotta buy ten goats, and that shit is probably like a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars. You know what I mean? Each goat, and that could be dependent on your parents and everything. Some of these women in Philippines and Vietnam, they don't have that. They don't have that. They don't have that money. They don't have that drive because that's all they know. You know what I mean? So it they could, for it, security. Yeah, they marry for security. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> marry for security. I've seen somebody who's literally married this guy with two kids. No, actually, no, three kids. Three kids. Three kids. And that woman is miserable. It's not just all about money. It's all about this person can get me to the US. This person can have me file for a green card. This person can have me file for, file for a, a citizenship. It's about that, like, meeting in between. Once you get that, 
it's like you're free to go but some of these women don't have that you know what i mean so for me i just see it as more i guess because i'm more foreign some women don't have that choice i've seen women who go and they have like guys come there and they're like oh my god i'm gonna get married and they're like i'm gonna support my sisters my dad was like that he came to the u.s on a scholarship he brought my mom he brought my two uncles you know what i mean and he supported his family and he's lucky because he was a man if my mom did that she would have to bring her husband she would have to support other people my mom has to do that my mom had to do that for my other family members my aunts and everything so it's kind of like who has the opportunity when my mom my dad passed away when i was three dude my dad when my dad was passed passed away my mom literally had to go back to kenya with us like two of us back to kenya and she had to work her ass off for about i would say four years of my life i didn't see my mom and that's because america is that hard for some other women it's easier for them because they don't have children and they don't have they don't have responsibilities but they still have to think about their family who's back at home regardless of which country it is it's like if that's their only option to get to the u.s i see that i wouldn't say that they are less fortunate or they don't know what other women put up with in america i will never knock down somebody else for their thing because my mom had to struggle for four years with no family here only had her husband's um her husband and employer helping her you know what i mean so for me i was like i see that struggle so i don't see it as like more of a passport bro or passport sister if you gotta do what you gotta do get up here you know what i'm saying it's like i will never judge it maybe because i'm an immigrant myself i was like i've seen what my mom gone through so for me it's kind of like i would never knock knock somebody's hustle down if you want to get your sisters here you want to get your brothers here for an education that's the thing about being an immigrant that really suck that really sucks because like once you get divorced you can get deported there's so much there is so much things that go through yeah. just even getting into that point you know what i mean so yeah, i guess so that I, like, that's, so i agree with her on that so it's just like i feel like a lot of the different situations like 90 day fiance that happens a lot men go to the philippines on there and they're like marrying these women and the women are just like not using them but the women just are not they just offer them something that they need and so it's just like those kind of situations so i feel like passport bros are men that are like that they just want to do that just because they know that it's just you know that kind of thing so i don't think there's going to be women that do that only because i mean i just like i mean i can i don't know i don't think that there's going to be passport sis or passport sisters or anything like that Cause it's just like, yeah, someone in the comments of like, no offense, but old white men go to the Philippines and they marry these Asian women. And it's just like, it's very odd. And it's just like, it's so, cause you couldn't get a woman in the freaking US. This freaking fly is annoying, but yeah. Oh, it's a fly. I'm like, why are you doing these karate moves for? She was like this. Yeah, this fly, y'all, this fly is like literally just right here. There's nothing in my room and it just keeps coming to the light. I'm like, bro, go away. But sorry. Oh, you good. Huh? Taco? Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had like seven shots tonight. I'm a little fucking dazed. I have four. It's okay. okay, let me ask you this. Do you guys think there's other places better than America? Oh, 100%. Europe? Yes. <laughs> Anywhere in Europe? Somewhere you would live. Hmm? Somewhere you would live. This is a place you're, you would live rather than America. Yeah, Dude, New I got Zealand. A I got a research. I've seen like yeah. literally just like the different things that they do with basic foods. The foods that like are so common in the USA that are like illegal everywhere else in the entire world because of all of the um, preservatives and everything that are in them. And people that'll go to like Paris and shit. And they're like, dude, I'm not lactose intolerant here, but like I am in America. Like, just the simple things like that, where it's like the state that, or not the state, the country that we live in just doesn't care about a natural person's well being. All they care about is the rich people because they can afford to have the foods that are actually good for their bodies versus the people that are mil middle or lower class are literally killing themselves by buying the food that they can afford because America doesn't want to make it sustainable or good for our bodies at all. Have y'all ever seen Mountain Dew in other countries? Like people in Europe and people in other places, they're like, 
why is the Mountain Dew in America like that color? And I'm just like, is that not normal? And then I see their Mountain Dew. Their Mountain Dew is like a regular color. Meanwhile, ours looks like toxic waste. I'm like, the stuff that they let us drink and eat here is freaking nuts. Because you can't get that in other countries or they block it out. So I think that's so funny. It's absolutely yeah. insane the things that they allow in our food and in our drinks here. I feel like we should all just move like somewhere else. Like I want to try it. I want to try living somewhere else. Maybe let's try it easy and go to Canada because it's the closest. But yeah, like that's like the easy way. But I was in Mexico for a month. I could not do it, y'all. Someone that lives in a ghetto apartment complex, I can tell you this right now. It's not that bad here, but I would much rather be in Florida or like go to the Caribbean because I am done with my broken elevator. It's been broken for almost. Oh, the whole entire year ain't no one coming to fix it they emailed us saying really? they would yeah four yeah four okay, of leg them. day every day yeah four i know the machines break i live on the eighth floor mind you so it's like oh my gosh bro i know your legs are ripped at this point it's so bad it's That's so bad and don't say nothing about my 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 what's the name y'all i call it maintenance they're gonna come look at it the little beeping that you hear i'm not from the ghetto it just went out maybe a month ago and i just haven't got around to fixing it my what's it called my sus my what's the name system your um fire alarm um, yes so oh, everybody yeah. keeps commenting about that leave it me alone be beeping. it be beeping girl my wifey you be beeping you need to change the batteries you see right there right i'm just so used to hearing it because i've lived in the ghetto so i'm used to hearing it so it doesn't bother me as much as it bothers everybody in these comments don't apparently. don't explain to them just worry about me being in your house every day that, that's all that matters oh my god i'm just but, not yeah. against america like i'm not against them don't get me wrong like if i if i had to live here you know then yeah i'm gonna pick you know i want somewhere like that a lot of people are going to be at because there's going to be a lot of opportunities right canada no, I'm talking about in America. So you got you got Vegas, you got LA. I would not mm. move. I would not move to LA. That's like the last mm. option. No, but like that, so many other is, people are trying to do that though. So it's like really how high of a chance do you have to do that yourself? No, this is just for like if you want to be in a city of opportunity. So uh -huh. we got we got Vegas, New York, Miami. Uh, what's the other? What's the other place in Florida? There's another place in Florida. Miami. Uh, Miami, Tampa, Miami, Tampa, Tallahassee. What's the other one? Shit about Florida. Is it Tallahassee? Oh, it's Miami and Tampa. That's the only Orlando, two I think of. Orlando. Orlando. Oh, oh you're Orlando. right. We got New York. Me too. I'm up there. Yeah, Fort Lauderdale. It's like Orlando or Miami is probably better, though. You got, what's the other place? You got Atlanta. Let's see. Everybody and their mama Nashville. live in Atlanta. I ain't moving to Atlanta. Nashville. I heard people move to Nashville. Like, I've seen a lot of communities move over there. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people move to Utah. Girl, Utah? Yeah, I've seen a lot of people move to Utah recently. I'm like, why? <laughs> what? Recent. That's the key word. Recent. <laughs> Houston going crazy right now. And so is Vegas because everybody from i'm from socal everybody from california is moving here because it's cheaper to live here you could find an apartment out here for like 700 a month oh washington washington that's another place dc dude i want to go to i want to go to oregon take really? to all yeah dude because um like their taxes are more expensive but like also everything else is cheaper there because they do take more out in tax and i got some friends out there and it's like rain constant and i love it it's like twilight constantly uh, can't do i kind of want to move to um yeah, i kind of want to move to that. texas like dallas i'll come with you babe take I me can, i gotta live in the heat i love the heat like if it's not hot outside i don't know I like Texas a lot. I feel like Texas, if you don't live directly in the city, of course, I feel like you can find a decent one bedroom, one bathroom for like um, no more than like 900 possible dollars. And I feel like I'm, I might honestly, I'm not telling y'all my life plans, but I feel, I feel like within the next year, I'm probably going to end up moving to Texas. Hey, Texas. Yo, I remember back like maybe <laughs> five years ago, Texas was popping. You could buy a house there for like cheap. <laughs> Like, like, exactly. It's not cheap no more, I don't think. It's not cheap no more. Yeah, that's why I was like looking at other areas like outside of Dallas. Like long as you don't stay directly in the city and you stay in like the little areas outside of it, I feel like yeah. you can make it work.
it's like a loophole. Yeah. What's the what's the what's the city closest to the beach in Texas? Isn't it Houston? Texas has a beach. I don't know. Texas has a beach. Oh yeah, they do. What's it called? It's right on the edge. Wow. Galveston? Galveston? The next major city, chat. Um, we have Houston. Galveston. Galveston? Galveston? Yeah, I was going to live like... How far away is Galveston from Houston, chat? Let me, let me, let me find out something. Y'all, I'm, I'm going to hop off. I'm like fucking... I'm falling asleep. I hope everybody okay. has a fabulous Bye, night. Taco. It was Bye, so Taco. good seeing you guys again. Bye. I love you all. Bye. We love Bye. you. Love you too. I'm probably going to get off of here too. Oh, really, Sunny? It's late for real. I got you. It's 2 a.m. I already followed you. I already followed you. So. Oh, let me follow. Hey, 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 I called her first. Mind your business. I just wanted to follow the girl. <laughs> <laughs> They're married, by the way. These two. We are married. Uh huh. Yeah. You want to be part of our 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 little group? Huh? Okay. Y'all don't. Huh? I mean, shoot, why not? Are you? We already approved. <laughs> I'm down. I'm down. Uh oh. Okay. Yes. Okay. Right. Uh, it's late. Good night. It's just like you got anybody else down there, Raphael? Or is it just us three now? The originals, the OGs. I'm new here. I'm I'm new here. <laughs> I mean, compared to you, she is new. Yeah. What's that supposed to be? You're oh. the OG. I'm just, I'm just a. You're, you're the old head. I'm, I'm new here. Hey, listen, I just got added on randomly one day because somebody told me to come up here. When I never, you've been told ever since. I'm cranking up. Huh? See, I'm throwing on this hoodie. Oh my god. No, don't throw on the hoodie. You're probably cold. You know. <laughs> What's your AC on? It's eighty. Sixty-nine. Let me stop. Eighty what? It's eighty-two degrees in here. Damn, dude, I could only do like 76, not gonna lie to you. Why the hell is your air on 82, Raphael? That's what he gets cold easily. You know what? I, I knew that. Yeah, you're right. Us skinny, us skinny people, we don't got that much body. Um, we don't got that much body fat. And body fat means body heat. I would have died back then, basically, if I didn't live in no, you know, hot weathers. You know what? I got you. Come here. I'll warm you up. Come here. No, he got two women. It's it's two. Uh, Maya, stop playing. Yeah, yeah. Mind your business. He looked cold, so I just wanted to make sure he was warm. I'm sorry. He got me, so don't worry about it. Girl, all this all this heat. Oh, uh, I got I got more cushion. Don't do me like that. Oh my gosh, you two are amazing. No, but for real. As much as I would love to stay up on this Friday night, I'm I I lost a lot. Of, yeah, I I'm, going, I'm going. Are you sleep. actually gonna log off this time? Cause last time you didn't. No, I'm actually getting off. I'm not going live again. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I value my sleep. It's already two a.m. Okay, Maya, baby, call me later. Okay. And Raphael, create that group chat. Because you know, you sure? Yeah. You're not lying? I'm not lying. Okay. Raphael, you look cold still. I just want to make sure you're warm, love. Uh, Maya. Make... Maya. Maya. Sorry. He's got he's got he's got somebody with ass. He got somebody with tits. Okay. We can we can warm it up, okay? Us three. Us two. Me and you. Girl, I got more. Don't do that. Just say the Alright, I'll, uh -huh. I'll, I'll You didn't even have to do me like that. <laughs> you didn't have to do me. Like... You know what? Okay. I'm leaving. You know, I love you. you know I love you. Oh my gosh, y'all are cooking each other right now for the reason. No, I love you, baby. You just came for me. me. I did not come for you. We just need somebody to equal out. We need somebody you to equal out. Let me, let me bend down and get my remote I drop. Oh. Let me stop. No, I'm playing. Okay. Good night, Raphael. All right, peace out. Good night. Bro.